Hello, welcome back to this episode of my Skyrim walkthrough. Um, so yeah, we are about to enter Corvinund, which it seems like the Imperials have uh, gone ahead of us. I uh, decided to join the the Imperials over the Stormcloaks. I mean, I had that planned for a long time though. This this gate down here, I think it's like a shortcut or something. Or maybe it's the way back out. I don't know. <laughs> there's some there's some reason that that gate is there. But yeah, uh, by the way, in the last episode, I uh, touched on... <clears throat> here we go. I touched on a bunch of... Uh, power potions. That you can make with alchemy. It's pretty much in the beginning of the episode. But I sort of explained why I've been throughout this entire time. Just picking up certain ingredients and not... You know, others. Why I deem to be some of the best potions and, and all that stuff. Oopsie daisy, I don't want clutter in my inventory game. I have so much money. How much? It's 66k. I just had 69 a little bit ago. Uh, oh yeah, the reason I have 66k instead of 69. I went to the College of Winterhold uh, off camera and only did two things. I started Jazargo's quest to uh, do the Flame Cloak because I know that in this dungeon... There's going to be Draugr's. And also, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I bought the Circle of Protection, which is an Expert Restoration spell. And Grand Healing, which is also an Expert Restoration spell. My Restoration is not 75. Okay, so <laughs> we need to get it to 75 first. Um, however, I'm using Fireballs, which means that I'm going to damage my, uh, my allies a lot. I'm going to let these guys be distracted with them. And I'm going to try and keep myself like... A little bit ahead. That's a shortcut back or something like that. Why are you guys following me? Follow the barriers. I think, yeah, probably a shortcut back. I just need these guys to um, come here. I mean, obviously, the, oh, Lydia is gonna. You know what? The, the No, here's the thing. Okay, okay. So, Lydia, if you have been paying any attention, <laughs> she's overpowered as all goddamn hell. So, <laughs> I am gonna. I'm gonna send Lydia back home. Because the uh, Civil War storyline is not a, it's not very hard. Uh, you know, because the uh, the game essentially wants whatever side. Or, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's very, like, generic. You know, the, the game wants whatever side uh, that you are on to win. The enemies, even if you do this at a late level and you're slightly underpowered, you'll, you'll start noticing that once we start doing forts and whatnot. I'm not doing anything. Uh, the game basically wants you to win, so the enemies are slightly underpowered. They're not they're not really leveled like guards would be. Like if these were guards, oh, oh my god, guards level up with two with you to like I don't even know how long. 80? Because they're supposed to be able to deal with the threat of dragons if they, you know, come about uh, and attack towns. So yeah, just it's it's not that hard. And one, Lydia is taking XP away from me, and two no, that's the only one. It's such a major one. Because she... Um, oh, yeah. And, and she's going to, like, clear dungeons and forts a little bit too quick for my liking. She's going to be one-shotting everybody. So, I'm right behind you. it's time for us to part ways. Um, I'll head back home if you need me. She will go to my Hearthfire home in Solid, in Falkreath. Yeah, it's right here. What are you on about? It's the Imperial's eye. So again, like I said, I kind of want uh, not to attack my enemies or my allies. My enemies shall suffer. Whoopsie. Oh, I killed an burial. Who cares? There is a chest over here, though. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's empty. Maybe it's always empty. This looks to be a skill book, but it may be something... It may be one-handed, and I already have full one-handed, or I may have read it before. Because I, I do remember seeing that name before, but I mean... I wa I consume so much Skyrim content that I don't... I, sometimes I get a little bit kafuffled. Kafuddled. Between whether it was something I played, or something I watched someone else play. You know what I mean? You guys are way too quick. What is going on here? Oh. Oh, I've never been up here before. I'll be a son of a gun. Dude, this is awesome. Cool. Corvinjund is showing all of its secrets. 
Oh, so this is the way you can go instead of going up. Okay. Awesome. Do we just go ahead and... Uh... God damn, I have way too many things on my favorite. Um, Did I learn the other spell, by the way? Yeah, I've learned them. Um, Yeah, I'm sort of looking forward to get high restoration. Maybe I should just allow them to, to hit me a few times. So that that happens. Eventually, I think it's only at the end. I'll have to fight Draugrs, right? And I kind of want to use the scrolls. But I don't know if it's going to be possible because of the... Friendlies will always be there, you know. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, are we coming up against Dragos right now? No. Hit me. Hit me again. Time to end my little game. You guys do nothing. See what I mean? Like, they are extremely underpowered compared to what guards would be. I don't know what's going on. Oh, here we go. I can train my restoration here. I don't know what's going on with, um... With Legget Rika. Why is she so glitchy and whatnot, dude? Am I playing on Master? What is going on? It's probably because, um... Um... I'm capped. My armor. My armor is capped. I could take off some armor. But how fun is that? Dude, what am I doing? I have equilibrium. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> Guardian circle. Isn't that what I just... What I just got? Yeah, I think it is. But yeah, I don't need to do that. I can just, uh... Let's put it on my right hand. Why don't you fight him? Gosh darn it. So I'm pretty sure this warrior is gonna have... Nope, there is the claw right there. Ebony claw. Wolf, moth, dragon. In case you couldn't see that on the YouTube. I'm playing this on a television, so it's a little larger. I forgot what I said. Uh, I said wolf, moth, dragon. <laughs> I'm talking, I forget what I'm saying. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Get the barrels. Yeah, like, Legge Rick is definitely glitched out. What do you mean? He's attacking you, you're his enemy. Whoopsie. It was Wolf Moth, right? Give me 75 restoration, I swear to God. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I hit you guys. <laughs> yeah, who, who's, who's telling you to come up here with me? You know who I am? The goddamn Dover King. I don't care about a few flipping spikes or arrows. Yo, I'm not even kidding. Give me restoration already, game. So here there are a few draggers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try... Uh, just that it goes. Scrolls. Please come on before they attack me. All right, Legionnaires. Jesus Christ. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have the scrolls equipped. What is wrong with my hands? This usually occupies both of your hands, doesn't it? Oh, it's okay. There we go. Yeah, so it fails on purpose. Do it again. Or maybe you have to wait. You can't uh, spam it, probably. <laughs> Are you gonna attack me? Oh, yeah, she is. Sorry. Okay. What? Is... I don't even know. Usually scrolls cover both of your hands, right? So that was a little... So that's why I was a little bit confused. This is pretty cool. A flame cloak looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, on higher difficulties, like, cloak spells are not that great. Um, because obviously they only do like eight points of damage per second or something. Like that's nothing to a master difficulty enemy or higher. I mean, they could benefit me. First of all, they look cool, but the problem is that here's the thing, right? I've touched on this 700 times. But if you, uh, if you have more hotkeys on console, I would use all sorts of builds, but the, it's so tedious to always be switching. Uh, to always be switching and stuff. I think the lever is over there by the light, isn't it? Shot it. Leg it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I can only use two hotkeys, so it's a little bit bad for me, essentially. Here we go. Uh, where's the dragger? I'm gonna damage my enemies, though. So, But it's pretty cool. Our flame cloaks really that quick. There we go. Two. And then I probably have to wait for this battle to be over. Or maybe I can try it on these guys. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. 
it worked. Speak to Jazargo. So doesn't is that the quest over or does he give you more? You know? Please don't whoa 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 whoa. I'm sorry. They actually don't have to get that close at all. It's, I mean they can stay pretty far away. Are are cloaks usually like that? I don't use cloaks. But damn they look awesome. <laughs> they they really do. Oh 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 here we go. Time to end my little game. I can't wait. Yeah, 40 bounty I added to Halfinger. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm I'm cheating my weapons. Oh my good god. You guys are a bunch of assholes. Just just leave me alone. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm doing something for Jizargo. So I think I think the game messes that up. I can't wait on that loading screen. Wow, I'm gonna have to go all the way back here. I'll meet you guys back here. Oh my god, I Okay, so I got 75 restoration. I didn't even notice that the first time. But I went through to the crypt so that so that they could, you know, stay behind fighting the undead in the previous room. Of course they didn't. They followed me here anyways. Um Let's use this first. I don't think it's going to be a very difficult fight, so But obviously, I can't use the Jar Jar scrolls. Uh, I'm kind of like, obviously, Legger Rick and Hadvar can't die, but I'm I'm sort of wanting them to take a knee, you know. Let's actually help the Dragos out. Let's kill the Imperial Imperial. Two. I'm not gonna do a third one because uh, I want them to follow me essentially, so that. Yeah, Hadvar is very low on health. So that, you know, I can get away from them and, and try the scroll thing out. <clears throat> but I don't know how uh, how they're faring, honestly. It doesn't show me their health. Get her. Hadvar is very low health. Does he stay there or can he die? Or Watch it there, brother. Yeah, Hadvar is down. Nice. Oh, it just keeps giving you more and more Imperial soldiers, doesn't it? I, I just need one of you to come with me, please. Gosh darn it. Why are you both focus on her? Alright. I mean, I what am I gonna do? I can't end their little game. There we go. Now we can use a scroll. Though these, this guy seems like it's gonna be pretty goddamn powerful. Nope, that's still a fireball. Boom. Two of them. Nice. Is there a third one? Oh, he's dead. See, now I can't get close to my enemies. I mean, my friendlies. Come and show me what you've got. I'm not caring about the Imperials. I don't care if they get angry at me. But uh, Hadvar and the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Please don't. Let that not count as them being angry at me. No. Let's go, Drago Deathlord. Here's the slow time, probably. End. My little game. He's not following me though. Bro, come on. I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Let's go. Hit her once. Okay, there we go. Jagged crown. Uh, I believe it's here where you can actually attempt to try and steal the jagged crown back. I can't believe they don't allow you to keep this damn thing. Deliver the crown to General Tullius. Good work. Lucky we had you. Huh. Stick close. I remember Stick doing something close. here before, but maybe maybe it isn't. I don't know. I don't know how you can get to get to keep the crown, but I'm sure like it's not that hard to look up on the YouTubes and stuff. <laughs> Although you know this game has been around for 17 centuries, so <sighs> some of the videos on that stuff may be outdated or perhaps uh, made it relevant by the unofficial patch, whether or not you have that installed. I can't believe the unofficial patch changes game mechanics. It should only change glitches, man. Come on. That's like the whole point. Um, Necromage Vampire shouldn't be changed. And I guess the Jagged Crown, if that's changed, that shouldn't be changed. Like, Because then you, you're forcing people uh, that like you know to do mods or be a little bit more out there. You're forcing them not to use the unofficial patch. That's what you're doing. Winterhold. Oh yeah, speak to Jizargo. Uh, let's just go speak to Jizargo first in case he gives you more scrolls, you know? Um, 
and we can go ahead and finish this quest immediately or like continue his quest i mean wow okay so here we are in front of Zargo. I've tested and your scrolls. Were they magnificent? <laughs> they were supposed to explode because they exploded. Yeah. Oh, Jezargo takes this to mean it did not go. This was not the intention, to be sure. Oh, of but course you were not. not placed in Han's way. Still, you are a good friend to Jezargo now for taking this risk. Je Follow me. Then lead on, friend. He only has like apprentice robes and whatnot. I mean, probably novice robes. I mean, I'll just see how he's in combat. I've heard that Jizargo. I've heard that Jizargo uses a lot of novice spells, unfortunately. So, like, you know, the the normal lighting lightning spell. Uh, what is that? Sparks. But I guess I'll see for myself. That's not very effective anymore, though, of course. How about you fetch that? Hmm? <clears throat> um, I got the jacket crown. Soon enough, and when we do, I'll have his excellent work, soldier. I have to. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. I'll get the full report from Legged Ricka. Now then, I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Falk. Is it already the Battle of White Run? We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the I... city of White Run. I think I remember that was stupid phone. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes. Uh, I think I remember now. You have to reverse pickpocket the crown onto Hadvar because you'll meet Hadvar again in the Battle of White Run. I think that's the way it works. But the reverse pickpocket chance is like stupid low. That's probably the way it was. So it looks like you have to um, trap a dragon before you can continue with the civil war. God, that is annoying. Oh, yeah, I don't have the option to to give him the. That's so stupid, yo. Like I said, I kind of want to finish this like when I'm almost done with everything else in the game. I don't want to do the main goddamn storyline, and I believe it takes you. Or, I mean, maybe not. Maybe I can trap Oda Ving. Just keep him here in a trap, even though that's kind of bad. Uh, and then get the option. Like, after Oda Ving's been trapped, I have to talk to him and all that. I'll see if it works. Um, let's call him. Let's call Oda Ving. This guy is uh, <laughs> expendable. Raw. Defeat Odavin. Sometimes followers can actually be a bit of a nuisance when you try to do this. No? Let's try again. There we go. Red dragon. Yeah. Whee. Winged snow hunter. Now we probably can use dragon Ren to make him land. I keep forgetting what I have uh, equipped. What did you? S Why do people keep? Are they calling me a vampire? And if so, like, wh how do you know? And why don't you like attack me then? Oh, I can't. Uh... Wow, does it really take that much? What? What? Why can I shout now? Okay, so it's two hundred and twenty-five. But I was able to shout twice though, before. Yeah, apparently I can't. So yeah, there's something. I can't uh, dragon random. That looks to be the apprentice ones at least. The Zark is holding. See, if you can't dragon random. So, okay, so uh, why is Oda being such a long um, cooldown? If you can't use dragon run after it, like, <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, I can't, so a wall right there. Maybe I can exit and then come back out or something. Alright, I have my shout cooldown. Uh, let's try it. I don't, I don't feel like I've struggled that much with this before. Like, 
if you call, if you use all three words of power to call Oda Ving, maybe you don't need to use all three. Because it has 225 second cooldown, so how are you supposed to, after that, use Dragon Rend? Have to wait like five flipping minutes. I don't even know how long it is, but it doesn't matter. So here we go. I'm going to use my shield with the... Really, Avenichi? For the elemental protection. Should be good. There we go. Hopefully now I can talk to the Yara. Interrogate all the Ving. Doesn't look like I can. Okay, big man. That's right. Among ourselves, scold often. Or I mean, he's in Sovereign Guard, isn't he? You just have to go to scold often first. Croesus, only this. Croesus. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while. The toast? No. Let's just try. No doubt. Oh, for the day. But that day. No doubt. With good. Even now, we must. But our. Until brave heroes step forward. God. Let's free all the wing then. We. Yeah, Faringar wants to do some experimenting on him and stuff. It's pretty funny what they say to each other, but. I think the arrow is staying on this guy because I have the quest to deliver the message to the Arrow White Run. But I don't get the option to because I'm doing damn jo Dragonborn DLC or Dragonborn storyline. So if I get on him, I won't. I will like just automatically go to um, Scald Often. He keeps calling me Toast. <laughs> oh, he's probably meaning like you know people will raise a glass or something in the Toast. It doesn't look like I can wait. Um, I don't get the option to talk to the Yara. I really hope it hasn't messed up. It really shouldn't, though. I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see? So all these guys just stay here, and wait for me to flicking, flipping, get on the dragon. <clears throat> Pretty sure you can't um, leave Sovngarde. Like, there's no way to leave it until you basically get sent back by uh, Tsun. Or whatever his name is. Okay, here we are in Skoldoff, and it seems to be 3 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and clear skies. It looks to be nighttime, so there's gonna be a bit of a fight coming. Dragons and Draugrs. So I'm just gonna Dragon Ball Z all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, let's start. I guess I can clear skies here. I should have the restoration, expert, expert restoration by now, right? Circle of protection, I could use that. Um, close wounds instead, I'm gonna use grand healing. Gee, I mean, it's right next to here. That's pretty good. Okay. Ow. I mean, obviously, um, putting on more armor doesn't do anything for me. Because, uh... I'm already capped. Oh my god. Dog of Death Lords. Do these guys attack each other, I wonder? The dragons and the Death Lords? Can I stagger you by just boom? Oh, I did that a little bit too late. Yeah, here come the music. Oh, the Dragonborn, nice. <laughs> you guys mess with the wrong goddamn Dovahkiin. Let me pass.
There are like a few dragons you need to fight at first. But then you start fighting just Draugrs. Oh, and it seems to be a normal dragon as well. Attack him, you coward. Attack him. Oh, it breaks it? Oh, it's because there's two dragons. Another dragonborn. <laughs> he keeps helping me out. I was gonna like, yeah, like, wards are supposed to be able to uh, take the full brunt of a dragon breath. But I guess it's because there were two dragons firing at me at the same time. Luckily, they're just normal dragons and nothing like ancient or elder or reverend or blood, dra you know. <laughs> Whatever you say, big mom. Just get away from me, that's all I want. <laughs> Can't touch this. <clears throat> Oh, he can't fly anymore. That's why he keeps nagging me. Let me put on the uh, rings of destruction and restoration. Oh, I have them both on. It's just the helm. Okay, that's why restoration is costing me. I just dodge this. I don't want to have to use restoration then that much. Uh, here's what I can do, though. <clears throat> I have dragon aspect already. Let's go ahead and do this. So this heals me. That way I can I don't need to use restoration, I can just be like doing this the whole time. This will uh, negate a little bit of the damage that he does. Is it healing me? No, 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 no. That's another No, yeah it is. It is healing me. Let me just read the description of it. Undead No, undead flea. What which is the one that heals you then? I have no idea. Guardian circle, circle of protection. Let me just see which one this is. Circle of protection. Maybe Guardian Circle is the one that heals you? Huh. I don't think this guy can fly anymore, so I'm gonna put on my ward. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? You're not dead yet, Draugr? <laughs> yeah, 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 let's go. I mean, restoration is being taken, but not that much. It's fine. Oh, he's upstairs. Never mind. I need a little bit of grand healing here. These uh, ruins, I believe, are just like... The, you enter through here and then you exit up there. There's nothing more up there than just loot, most likely. Oh, oh my mana just got f disgustingly drained right there. Okay, so I guess I need to turn it to nighttime. Uh, let me see if I can just fa uh, go far enough away because I'm a vampire, so. Okay, there we go. I'll meet you after this. Okay, so it's early in the evening. I, uh, I ended up having to wait like 36 hours because... Uh, I wanted my uh, dragon aspect to recharge, but I also needed it to be nighttime, so I ended up having to wait a little longer. That's fine. Dragon aspect recharges really quickly, though. that's pretty neat. No. I have all three words now, actually. I need to use that. What, who, what took so much mana? Oh, I'm healing. Idiot. With grand, actually. <laughs> Which takes a lot, honestly. But that way I don't have to use both hands ever, pretty much. Wow, that lasts so goddamn long. I mean, it's it's ready to to use before it's even done. You know what I mean? Uh, slow time, right? One last one. Yeah, these guys are so slowed down. This is insane. Necromage vampire with a... Uh... This is cool. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> with uh, a dragon aspect and slow time. I mean, I can't even see my target, but who cares? Look how long this lasts. 
It's been like over 15 seconds by now. If you take the recharge timer into consideration. Are you kidding me? This is insane. It's like 20 seconds. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's very dead. So I think maybe just one word, because that way I can use it again. Let me see. Uh, it's 15, 23, 30. So if I just use one word. Let's see what happens. If, yeah, if, the, if the recharge time... If I basically have to wait no time at all. But one word doesn't slow time down as much, I bet. I haven't actually read into the whole uh, slow time thing. You missed. Yeah, so it doesn't slow time that much. And the, yeah, the recharge time is a little bit less. I don't have to wait as long. Let's use two. But it also looks like it's slow time for a little less time, essentially. Oh, there we go. This is so cool. Your life is mine. Is he dead? I think so. Uh, stability in the alteration tree i believe it's gonna make slow time last even longer so there is this perk here which you need expert probably for no that's atronach alteration spells have a greater duration i believe that applies to slow time because slow time is counts as an alteration spell even though it's a shout i think i hit once <laughs> Still getting leather. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a while because um because um uh, because of this whole slow time thing. <laughs> it does and also because I have like destruction that doesn't do as much damage as, as me just using my weapon. So if you come here a little earlier, obviously you're not gonna have to fight six hundred drug or death lords, but I wonder if uh, a dual casted one slows... Yeah, it looks like that staggers them. By the way, I said that... Uh, I think you need... Um, what is it called? Like, incinerate or whatever it is. Augmented flames. I think you need augmented flames to sta to stun dragons. Because I was uh, dual casting on a dragon earlier. And, and he, di he didn't stun, essentially. But I, I think with augmented flames, you, you will stun him. I don't like to abuse impact too much. I'm pretty sure you can though. I'm pretty sure you can stun dragons indefinitely with impact. Makes it, you know, insane. The perk. Oh my god. Dude, I swear to god, this is one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Oh my god. Imagine if the stability perk actually works like that and it slows time even longer. Oh my god, that is so sick. Because here's the thing you can do with slow... Oh, okay. I, uh, I, wanted, I didn't want to down him. I guess I'll show you afterwards. But what you can do with slow time is that you can basically sidestep their, their hits. So you can use it in melee combat as well. You can sidestep side step, uh, side step hits very effectively. Let's try it. Hit me with your best shot. I'm kidding. No, hit me with your melee weapon if you have one. You have one? Teed! Okay, as, as I say that, I suck at step sidestepping. I only use one word though, so yeah, there we go. So it's not as... It doesn't slow it as much. But you can basically play like Tekken with this guy. Professional... Don't shout at me. Hit me! Nah, he's gonna use his bow. But you get the point. It works. 
And if you use uh, more words of power, you know what? Let's try it. I don't care. Oh, he's okay. He's in the glitch. Quilan, Ushilon, which is like join the dead or something. I don't know. I don't speak Draugr. These guys are up top. Oh, look at you. Did I hit you? Hopefully. That's the portal to Skoldafen, Siben Postiga. Uh, I think there's some loot over here. Uh, maybe under how water and sprint. Does that regenerate quickly? And like, and like, uh, eight seconds. Now that's pretty cool. I don't even have the, uh, either the amulet of Talos or the blessing of Talos. I'm pretty sure. That would be insane. Ooh. Don't summon anybody. I need to stun him so he doesn't. <laughs> I don't want him to summon anybody. Oh, thanks, game. Thanks a lot. Let's just go over there. Uh, no, yeah. So, Unrelenting Force uh, apparently has a slower recharge time. Dragon Aspect is the coolest goddamn shot in the game. It does so much for you, you know. Not cursed. Let's head inside. I mean, I don't. Should I slow time? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here we are inside. I don't know what is this. Inside Skull Dolphin Temple. I didn't actually read the door. Ow. So these are another Death Lord? Yeah, because of my level, everything here is a flipping Death Lord. But I don't know, luckily they don't um, fling you. <laughs> Imagine if they flung you. Oh god. When they attacked you, that would be insane. Yo, 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 stun. It doesn't stun him? Oh. Yeah, you can't like change stuns the same. Like, it doesn't work. It's not. Um, it's overpowered, but you still have to wait for the enemy to basically get out of their stun before you can stun them again, uh, of course. So you sort of have to time it, but it doesn't. It's not difficult. I mean, you can spam it, especially if the enemy is sort of slow to react to you. Like, a dragon has to. has a small animation before he can actually breathe fire. In that time, you have plenty of time to fire off another fireball and stun them again. I need to kill the Scourge so that he doesn't resummon. Who, 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 who never should have come here? So Nords, I mean Draugrs are Nords, so uh, you ideally want to use not Frost against them essentially. This one is the whale one. The one in the middle, I believe, determines um, which side you want to open. I believe the right, the left side is the right one. The right, <laughs> the left side is the way to go, basically. So I'm gonna open up the left one first. Oh my god, I can't even talk. I'm going to open up the right one first because the left side is the way to go. <clears throat> and then you turn it to snock. There we go. Oh, this guy is hiding. <laughs> I guess the gates are open, my guy. Oh, I don't have Dragon Aspect anymore. Boo-hoo. Quilan Ustilon. So you're a Scourge? I guess that, yeah, they do often use Ice Scourges. Ice and Summons. Wee. I wish you could jump when you had fireballs in your hand, like charged up. That would be amazing. Do some trick shots. Ow. Heavy armor 77. If I have a... Uh, let me just check my perks for a second, because... Um, I currently have three perk points. But I sort of want alteration. See, it's between getting um, up to level 75 alteration and spending the perk points there. And get using... These two perks here are pretty useless for me. Fists of Steel and Conditioned or Cushioned. Cushioned is alright. Um, 
it's convenient, but it's not that necessary. Uh, however, this one is very good. It will prevent me from having to use the Steed Stone as much as I've been doing. However, it is three perk points, you know, so I will, uh, that's all I have. I don't, I'm not sure what to, uh, what the day. That is so creepy, I swear to God. Spiders, like, <laughs> what do they think is this is, huh? Oh, that is scary, man. They jump at you like that. Get dodged. It does last a long time, even without Dragon Aspect, though. Wow. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your regular Draugr ass out of here. Um. Oh, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, it's right above where you enter, essentially. This one was Dolphin. This one was Eagle. And this one is snake in the back there. It looks like. <laughs> I keep getting shitty gold amounts. Oh, it's already on snake. Uh, okay. Hopefully that's correct. Yes. Skull Dolphin Temple. Right, Scorch. Yeah, take your time. Don't worry about me. Oh, he just popped out a shield. That's actually a very good tactic. You can use Frost Astronauts to block doorways and whatnot. This Draugr has a slightly higher IQ. Holy shit. That's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong spell. Who did that much damage, huh? Own up to it. Listen, I'm not being funny. Wow, that heals me fully. One hand. I don't know. Was that Draugr a little bit more beefy? Is he on that, uh... Is he on those roids? You know what I'm saying? Bro, how do I get to you guys? I know it's simple. There we go. <laughs> don't lie to me. Death Lord. You know what? I, I This takes so goddamn long. Hopefully that did something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out. Uh, I know, I know. Let me... Since I'm not fighting dragons anymore, I'm gonna go back to this being on number one. Kaboom. Bim, bim, bim. All right. Grand... I think that completely restores... Yes, I know, I know. Completely restores your uh, stamina. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? You're standing in fire, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing him back so that the fire does extra damage, the fire in the background. So I'm gonna do dual casting on this guy. Dread Zombie. Reanimate out. I, I didn't read. Probably a powerful body. I'm not sure. But yeah, Conjuration can be pretty neat. Pretty bloody good. Ah Is that Does that happen regardless? Like, or did I step on something? Wow, it does a decent amount of... Well, I am a vampire, so... Take 50% of that. 
Drago Deathlord. Oh, okay, so that was Ice Breath. I thought it was Disarm. It was gonna be vivid. Look how much damage this guy takes. How do you how do I do so much to you? You have an iron shield, man? It doesn't look like I can stun him. Yeah, there we go. Boom. <laughs> and I hit him in the belly. How about now? No. <laughs> nope. Headshot him. Time to end your goddamn game. <laughs> it's wicked, yo. Look, if, look how far you send him, man. Um, Fox, Moth, a Dragoon. I'm actually gonna give you something else for your troubles. Wait, I do need the claw. What am I doing? Fox, Moth, Dragoon. Fox. Moth was already on. Dragon is right there. I need the uh, diamond claw. <laughs> Noob. <clears throat> Open sesame. It's good douche. I think those are dragon priests. Oh, here's where you get one of the words of stor storm call. Uh, usually I do pick this one up because you can't come back to Scald often. And Stormcall is cool. It can also be used in the Imperial, um, uh, in in the Civil War. Because the thing is, you can't lose. Uh, even if you just stand back and do nothing, even if you kill your own en uh, friendlies, you can't lose the battles for the forts and whatnot. Uh, your friendlies just keep spawning indefinitely until you win. So you could use Stormcall if you wanted. Again, try to make sure that no essential character is there, like Legget like Rike or, or Hadvar or whatever. But you could use, um... You could use whatever the heck you want. <laughs> and it's fine. Let me stun you. And then go... Boom. I think I found some good stuff down here. Uh, before. This chest have never let me down, really. Has never let me down. But I'm pretty sure that guy is, like, beyond dead. It looks like a master chest too. Well, I mean, there's a <laughs> there's a first every for everything. Oh my god, I did hear his pitter patter, but I I just ow, don't make me miss. Sixty six. God rest. I'm, how many fireballs have I spammed? <laughs> and uh, and nothing. Okay, so he we at the top. I wonder if you can just glitch your way up here. I will kill these guys, uh... Oh. Alright. I will kill these guys before, uh... Fighting the Dragon Priest. I'm pretty sure he's dead, right? Yeah. But this Dragon Priest can be a little bit annoying. Usually what I do is I just... I, I don't allow him to get to his staff. This time I will. This time he can get to his staff all he wants. I'm gonna goddamn destroy him. No. It's, uh... Can I use... No, I'm not gonna bother with Dragon Aspect. Screw that. Can you stagger Dragon Priest though? Yeah, it looks like you can stagger Dragon Priest. Wow, Nakreem. Nakreem is his name. I mean, this was... <laughs> it's so much damage. <laughs> Oops, mods again. I was gonna check the difficulty one sec. <clears throat> yeah, I am on Master still. Um... So you get his mask, and you need a staff for like opening the portal or something. No, no, no. Yeah, there, there's a glitch where you can, if you're quick enough or something, you can take his staff, which is unique, and um, and still enter Skulldafen. I've tried that the way it was shown in the video on a different character. It didn't work for me. Maybe it's been patched. I don't know. Maybe it was because I had the unofficial patch again. Skyrim is a huge game. It's been around for a long time. It's kind of hard to um, determine which which things still work, you know, from from the from the glitches and whatnot. This he this stuff has an awesome like uh, soundtrack. Oopsie. Hopefully that comes off in the video. I'll move the mic a little bit closer to me. And also turn the music up. 
because we're in heaven. I know, that's why I'm here. Who are you? I'm not gonna do that again. Let's go. Leave me. Hello, Alduin. I can't fight you yet, no matter how hard I try, so I'm not gonna gain admittance. Oh, yeah, this battle is so tough. Ah, oh, Tsun is insane. Hey, um. Cadillac. By the way, my wolf armor disappeared from one of the mannequins that is something so goddamn annoying it does happen quite a bit i wouldn't recommend if you have unique armor that you don't like the archmage robes or something like that that you don't want to disappear don't put it on the flipping mannequins because sometimes the mannequins just eat it up nom, 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 you know uh so yeah my wolf armor piece my chest piece of the wolf armor disappeared i think it's limited honestly i think yorlin only sells one copy if I'm not mistaken. What is going to be my strategy against this guy? Um, slow time could work because he is very he's very aggressive. Um, what the heck do I have circle of protection? So it doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, maybe I will use slow time. Uh, I think you can also unrelenting force him. Oh, and grand healing. <laughs> I don't need less award. He's a warrior. Who? <laughs> Are you? I can barely hear his voice because of the damn music. <laughs> I seek entrance. By this one. Is he talking slower? No. I'm the Dragonborn. I think is he talking slower because I slowed that no ah, I gotta try that again okay the music has started to distract me a little bit uh, <laughs> so let me see <laughs> this is so stupid not by what right do you request entry I welcomed a chance to challenge the blade of Isgramor's heir. Honored shield brother to Godlack White Mane. <laughs> I think so. Watch today. Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge. Maybe not. I judge them worthy no, he, he talks the same speed. Oh, right, right, right. Can I stun you though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fusro. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Did you just sidestep that like a boss? Who do you think you are, huh? I don't know. A man that guards gods. <laughs> He's probably pretty tough, not gonna lie. Wait, wait, listen, soon. I'm not being funny, right? This is not gonna... I'm not, I don't feel like I'm gonna like come away from this in a... I'm just gonna let him hit me and then use... Restore my health completely. Haha. <laughs> You picked on the wrong goddamn Dovahkiin, I tell you that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I pretty much just ran, but alright. This guy is Heimdall. Pretty much. Uh, don't know if you can fall off. Never tried. Probably can. Not gonna try. Today is not a good day to die hard. I mean, we are in heaven, so <laughs> that's completely the opposite, isn't it? It's a great day for that. Let's enter. Dovahkiin. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what is going on, Iskramor? I got your shield. Our door has stood empty since by Shorsk, but three of Gormleth, the fearless, glad-hearted. Copy that. Oh yeah, so he's not part of the little... At long last, and here's Jürgen Windcaller. Oh. Like clockwork, eh? Speak the word, and with Kinda looks like Jesus, isn't it? Are we ready? I don't think these guys actually have dialogue. Copy that. Let's do that. My 
We need to yeah combine our shouts and all that. All right. Oh, I can't draw weapons here, obviously. Although she doesn't seem to care. And bring him to battle. Peldia speaks wisdom. The world eater, coward, fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together. Are you commando under there? Our blades in desperate battle. To battle, my friends! To battle! Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Let's do this, Marines. Clear skies. Combine our shouts. Uh, I probably just... I mean, I don't know if they're gonna get pissy if I hit them with my dragon... I mean, my, with my uh, fireballs. See, if, if Zun helped us out with Alduin... <laughs> it wouldn't even matter. He does so much damage. So I died against Alduin when the fight went on for like 700 years and then I died against him. Uh, he used Fire Breath on me. I'm probably just gonna use Dragon Rend and keep him on the ground the whole time. Because this is taking too... It, it, it takes too long to defeat Alduin with... Or maybe I can just use uh, one-handed weapons. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So here's the thing. And I'm gonna put on Magic Defense so that my... Mm, thing doesn't yeah suck as much and i'm just gonna should i use the shield probably shield is number two yeah i'm gonna become a warrior for this one she's my most powerful uh archetype i get nuked so easily when he uses uh fire breath and it took like four minutes i'm probably gonna cut it out and he was still like yeah whatever still alive you know You can't fly, my guy. What are you doing? When he killed me, he did... Uh, he did, like... So... He hit me with his fire breath. It took me from, you know, all my health away. I healed uh, one of those complete health potion, and it still took my health away. So, that means that he did over 600 damage with one of his fire breaths. And I do still have, like, the engine of Mara and whatnot, so... I am a vampire, though. Okay, it looks like you can't fly anymore. But, man, it's so much easier with melee. I've said this before. It's insane how, um... So now I have amulets that I increase all that. I need stamina, though. Increase my magic defense. But I've said this before how restoration, or, I mean, destruction becomes extremely underpowered. In the later levels. Every bad guy, like major, major bad guy, always dies by like turning into ash or something. Remember how Mirak dies? He's impaled by Hermaeus Mora and then he like gets all ashy and dies. Voldemort died that way. I think there are other other ones that die that way. And like superhero movies or like fantasy movies. Dude, you're huge. This was a mighty deed. They will see Shore's bones, right? Your count of days. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. I'm ready. Return now to me. This rich boon. Yeah, Dova Keen. Shout to bring a hero from Sovereign. Don't home. shout at me. So there we go. The storyline, the main storyline completed essentially. The shout that he gave you will bring one of the um, one of the uh, dragonborns that you fought with me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you should all praise that guy, huh? The heck are you doing that, my guy? I don't know what you're talking about, uh, but thank you. Where is Alduin? Is that Odaving? 
you all belong to me now for the next two minutes because you know next time I fast travel to Riverwood there you'll be there you'll be <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> that actually looks really cool that like if you think about it as a as a symbol or a logo yeah look at that look how cool that looks that's pretty cool oh my good god all right that's enough of that glitching I'm probably just gonna end this episode let me see if I can actually talk to the Jarl or if it's still glitched uh, my plans were to do the civil war for this one, but I couldn't because I didn't get the the option to talk to the Jarl, to give him the message of um, General Tullius until I basically trapped the dragon. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's try this. I swear down. May the God oh, there we go. No doubt requesting to garrison. Well, out with it. Out with it. I see. Give the paper. Don't be down. <laughs> Just. <laughs> These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? Wait for the Jarl's response. So I still have Jazargo with me. Obviously, he couldn't come with me to Skoldaf and Siven Postiga because. I don't know. Followers just can't. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? One moment. No. Fool that would be dumb. I, mean, it's time I thought you were smart. To face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. You do know that he would kill you, you right? No such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. That is true. Torig? He simply walked up. Hey, watch it. And murdered the young boy. <laughs> I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my. I've made up yeah, he gives you like an axe to give back axe. to uh, to Ulfric Stormcloak. Storm and then Ulfric returns the axe, but we'll do that in the next episode. Ulfric is like, oh yeah, men who understand war, no need to talk to each other. Uh. Um. <clears throat> Anyways, thank you for watching this one. I'll do the try to do the Civil War in the next one. The whole thing. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.